Hi there. So, you click this video, and I'm assuming that means you like Monopoly. And I also assume that means you're interested in the video game versions of Monopoly. I'm going to be trying to review every version of video game Monopoly, and we'll just see how that goes. So, I played a lot of Monopoly for these videos. Not that I'm complaining, because I like Monopoly. But it's taken a few months because of my limited budget. Might be surprised how many ways you can turn Monopoly into a video game. And they seem to have tried just about anything that worked over the years. This is not going to be a complete list, as I seriously do not have the ability to buy every single console. I do have quite a few of them. But I think even a hardcore PC gamer would agree that today, having to sit down at a computer and play Monopoly, especially multiplayer, would kind of defeat the purpose of choosing to play a video game over a board game in the first place. For this video, I play Monopoly on Nintendo Entertainment System, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, Wii, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo DS, and the Xbox One. You may notice that I've missed a few systems in there, especially in the later generations. That's because not every system got its own dedicated version. This is especially true nowadays. But in 2017, Ubisoft did release a version for the Nintendo Switch. Did I go out and buy a Switch to complete my Monopoly collection? You'll have to wait till I find out, because as I recorded this, I have not. So with this video, let's just get into the games. I am sick right now, so just bear with me on the voiceover. The audio is not going to be great. The first video game versions of Monopoly appeared around the dawn of video games themselves on home computers like the Commodore 64 and IBM compatibles running DOS and Windows. Many unlicensed versions were made back then, but eventually Parker Brothers got on the ball with some official versions. I had to play these early versions on emulators like DOSBox. Both were called Monopoly Deluxe and were published by Leisure Games, but both were fairly different. The Commodore 64 version is for two to four players, any of which can be human or computer. The computer is fairly easy, but more on that later. The Commodore 64 version runs pretty slow, which is to be expected with the limited hardware. It's perfectly usable, but the layout makes it a bit challenging to see what's going on. This version has a static image of the Monopoly board at the top of the screen, which serves as a text box where some prompts appear. There are basic animations for pieces moving around the board, but for the most part, this game leaves a lot to the user's imagination. If I had had this version as a kid, I probably would have been pretty happy with the novelty, and probably would have played it more often than the actual board game. As with all Monopoly video games, I find the fact that you don't have to mess around with boring, important things like banking and keeping track of the physical game pieces to be a big draw. Computers are kind of convenient that way. But, if I had had the DOS version as a kid, I think I would have been even happier. I did have a Windows 95 computer, but unfortunately never had Monopoly on that. The DOS version of Monopoly Deluxe has all the same options for setting up the game, but it has a few unique features that even modern versions don't seem to have. This version also runs a lot smoother. The game occurs on a full screen board and pieces move around the outside in real time. There are some limited animations, but all of the features you would want are here. The added feature that I like the most is that it shows a printout of every game feature on the bottom right so that you never miss a move. No other versions of video game Monopoly have had this that I have found. I guess they forgot about it after they redeveloped this version and had to crop the screen for home consoles. All of the popular 8-bit consoles got a version of Monopoly. Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Master System. The major 16-bit consoles, Genesis and Super Nintendo, also got similar versions with slightly improved graphics. Like in DOS, a top-down view of the game board takes up the screen. In these versions, most of the gameplay goes on in the middle of the board. I think this is a clever use of the screen, as the middle of the Monopoly board, even in real life, is kind of just a placeholder. In the DOS version, the middle of the board is only used for an animation of Mr. Monopoly rolling the dice. On console systems with limited power and limited screen size, sometimes the game board is hidden during parts of the gameplay, and sometimes text boxes have to be scrollable. In all versions, the pieces move around the outside as well as with a little animation to show property names. The menu system does everything it needs to do, but you have to read carefully. On all of these versions, all inputs are handled by three buttons and a directional pad. On the original Nintendo Entertainment System, I think it works particularly well. 
Each action is super fast, which I love, and it's really charming to play in 8 bits. I also like this version on the Genesis, and was impressed at how well it was executed on the Game Boy and then the Game Boy Color. The Super Nintendo port of this game style, on the other hand, seems stale and outdated by this point. It's just disappointing. Not that it's much worse than other versions, and you think it wouldn't be any worse than the Genesis version. But this style had been around for so long that on the Super Nintendo it suffers from a problem that a lot of low-budget games had. It looks and feels like an 8-bit game. The Super Nintendo was so much more powerful than the NES. Even Super Mario World, the flagship launch title, showed just what improvements were made. Other board games like Clue got a much better treatment on the Super Nintendo. They even ported SimCity to the Super Nintendo. Yeah, that's a hit simulation computer game, but it proves just how well the Super Nintendo hardware can be utilized for more graphically and logistically complex strategy games. Monopoly on the Super Nintendo could have been much more. But maybe Parker Brothers just weren't in a good financial position at the time. In the early 90s, Parker Brothers was purchased by Hasbro, and the games that were developed in Hasbro's early ownership of the IP were a mixed bag. More on that later. So, why would you play a video game version of Monopoly when the board game is very easy to find, almost everybody knows of somebody that has it if they don't have it themselves, and it's easy to understand the board game? I think that someone would choose a video game version of Monopoly over the board game for the same reasons that someone might choose to buy a console over a computer to play video games. Consoles are just less to deal with. And with Video Game Monopoly, the player spends less time messing with and keeping track of the important things like banking and physical game pieces. Another thing that I want to mention is about the computer difficulty that's programmed into every version of this game. If you choose to play this game as I have in single player, it can be really fun to play against a computer. But without digging into the source code of these games, I really can't tell the difference between most of these games' easy settings and difficult settings. I assume that the difficult settings will be making better judgments, but I've had a computer player on the hardest setting offer me nothing for my part place. I mostly play these video games on easy. The only version that I've seen that has anything unique as far as difficulty is the Nintendo 64 version, which has four different settings split up into two different groups, but I can't really tell them apart. And I feel with the N64 version, they got a lot of things right. But, first, came the PlayStation 3. And that's going to be my next video in this series. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. It is going to be part of a series. I'm going to be reviewing every version of Video Game Monopoly that I can get my hands on. If you'd like to catch the rest of the series, please consider subscribing. Though, I will warn you of a pretty eclectic library and no consistent upload schedule. Either way, I'd like to thank you again, and 